a middle school student is in custody after firing a gun inside the school building early this morning. We were there as frantic parents picked up their children. Good afternoon to you. I'm Jeff Hogan. And I'm Renee Chu. WRL's Matt Tolhelm is live at Fuquay Verena Middle School. Matt, when the gun went off, we understand that no one was injured. Yeah, that's the good news out of this. No one hurt in all this, but I want to show you the kind of police response that happened when that shooting happened inside the school here. This whole lineup of cars, all police cars here in front of Fuquay Verena Middle School, there is still some crime scene tape that's out here as police investigate in a building on the other side of this, a wing of the school. This area, though, where we were standing just about an hour ago is where parents were rushing here to meet their kids after that code red lockdown at the school. We want to show you video of that bullet hole that shattered through the window of the classroom on the first floor of the building here. I'm told a sixth grade student brought a gun to school this morning. The principal sent out a message to parents saying the student fired the gun at the window. As you could see there, the police chief tells me a teacher intervened and stopped that student from doing anything else. Now, we talked with a parent who says his son was in that classroom sitting behind the student with the gun when the shooting happened. Uh, it was terrifying because uh, you wouldn't think uh, something like that could, ha you know, happen. And you hear about it in the news and next thing you know, you're in the middle of the situation and you're like, so many things are going through your mind and can you get there any quicker? You know, uh, can I get there any quicker to be at my son's side? You know, this all happened at the start of the school day here, just around 8 o'clock. Fuquay Verena Middle School dismissed early because of all this, and parents rushed here to the school to pick up their children. You can see back out here live that the sheriff's office, Wake County Sheriff's Office, is out here. They are leading the investigation on all of this. I talked to another parent and her daughter. She came here to pick her up. She says it was so scary, so hectic, getting those text messages from her daughter saying we're in a lockdown. Her daughter was actually still on the school bus when they pulled up and the police were already here when all of this was happening. We are waiting and hoping to hear some more from the Wake County Sheriff's Office about this investigation and any kind of consequences that this young student may face here. Certainly can't even imagine the fear from those kids in the school and the parents on their way to the school. Matt Tallhelm, live in Fuquay, Verena. Thanks.